To start the VDW Connect Locate, you have to press the power button. This button is on the device next to the Bluetooth button. When the power on button is green, you're ready to go. There is no need for calibration. The device is now ready to be used in standalone mode without being connected to the Connect app or being combined with the VDW Connect drive. When the VDW Connect Locate is used in standalone mode, blue, green blinking, steady green and red blinking LED lights appear on the device itself depending on where you are in the canal. When you want to combine the VDW Connect Locate with the VDW Connect Drive and the Connect app, you have to connect all three devices. To do so, first download the Connect app from the Apple iTunes Store, install it on the iPad and open it. Then turn on the VDW Connect Drive by clicking on the button at the back of it. By clicking one more time on this button, you activate Bluetooth. Once opened, a serial number will appear on the Connect app screen. Double check this number with the one you find on the VDW Connect drive to make sure you have the right one connected. If you're connecting the VDW Connect drive for the first time, you will be asked to perform a firmware upgrade according to the instructions shown on your iPad screen. Once the upgrade has been completed, you're ready to go. You will not need to repeat this step again. To turn off the VDW Connect Drive, you have to click the handpiece icon at the bottom of the app and select Power Off. Now physically combine both devices with the VDW Connect Drive adapter cable. The USB-C part of the cable goes into the Apex locator, while the micro USB part goes into the handpiece. Once both devices are connected, turn on the VDW Connect Locate and click on the Bluetooth button next to the Power On button you will see a serial number pop up on the Connect app screen on your iPad. Double check with the serial number on the device and then click on Confirm. Your Apex locator is now connected. Now turn on your handpiece. It will automatically switch on Bluetooth and connect to the app. Once it's connected, a message pops up on the screen. Press OK. Now you have both devices combined and connected to the app. This is confirmed by two little icons that you can see at the bottom of the Connect app, which are attached to each other. If you have no cable between the two devices, the app will show two individual icons that are not attached to each other. Now you're ready to perform an endo treatment. First, turn on the handpiece with the button below the contra angle. Then you will see the app screen change to the execution screen. There you'll see two bubbles. The bigger one contains apical information, the smaller one indicates the file you've chosen to work with and the torque you want to apply. To customize your devices, you can access all respective parameters by clicking on the two icons at the bottom of the app. Selecting the Apex Locator icon allows you to access the sound settings where you can adjust volume and tone. In the Settings menu, you can find a feature called Shaping Target. When you activate this feature, you can move the reference point. That's the point up to which you want to shape. At the level where you set this point, you'll receive a solid tone and solid green. You can move this shaping target up or down with the arrows on the right or by clicking directly on the bars. It can be set above or beyond the apical constriction, which is the default setting indicated by two little green arrows inside the fourth green bar. Once you've customized the VDW Connect Locate settings, you can check the settings on the VDW Connect Drive by clicking on the handpiece icon. There you'll find a feature called Apical Reverse. When you enable this feature, the handpiece will reverse the file. That is, turn the file clockwise whenever you reach your predefined shaping target. If you have the shaping target disabled, but apical reverse enabled, the handpiece will reverse the file at the default position. You're now ready to perform your endo treatment. Always remember, take the appropriate iPad sleeve that corresponds to the size of your iPad and insert the iPad into the sleeve. 
Take the VDW Connect Drive handpiece sleeve and insert your VDW Connect Drive into the barrier sleeve. Also, use the corresponding barrier sleeve for VDW Connect Locate. Place your iPad in portrait mode on the iPad stand. The Connect app is only available in this mode. In unconnected mode. The unconnected mode allows you to work without an iPad. Note that after a first connection, if you turn on the VDW Connect Drive handpiece without connecting it to the iPad, it will run with the unconnected mode settings. Reciproc setting. You can work with Reciproc instruments without the VDW Connect app and without the iPad. 